So in problem number 37 of section 2.5, we derive the uh, formula for the commu uh, cumulative distribution function of a uh, random variable that follows an, ex uh, an exponential distribution. Uh, so recall that the cumulative distribution function uh, gives the probability that a random, a random variable takes on a value of less than, less than or equal to a certain value. Uh, so if, for example, if we plot the distribution function of um, an exponential uh, distribution with parameter, some arbitrary parameter lambda, it's going to look something like this. Now, the cumulative distribution function, which we'll denote capital F of A, uh, we want this to essentially give the probability um, that a random variable will take on a value less than or equal to A. So it's geometrically, it's the area under um, area under the curve that's from negative infinity to A. Um, so the integral from negative infinity to A of, and here of course this is the uh, distribution function, which uh, for the exponential distribution is lambda e to the negative lambda x. Right, so for an arbitrary um, random variable, uh, the cumulative distribution function is the integral from negative uh, infinity to a of uh, f of x dx. Now, uh, we know that we're dealing with the exponential distribution. So we're interested in finding f of a equals the integral from negative infinity to a of lambda e to the negative lambda x. So we can rewrite this as a limit. Um, actually, let's pull out the lambda as well. So we'll have lambda times the limit um, as we want to substitute a value for infinity, let's say k. The limit as k goes to negative infinity of uh, k, the integral from k to a of e to the negative lambda x dx. Now this is equal to lambda times limit as k goes to negative infinity of, now we need to evaluate this, um, this integral, which either using u substitution or you just kind of see that the antiderivative of the integrand is one, uh, negative one over lambda times e to the negative lambda x. And we want to evaluate that from k to a. So this is equal to lambda times the limit as k goes towards negative infinity. And if we factor out the negative uh, 1 over lambda, lambdas cancel and we're left with just 1. And evaluate e to the negative lambda x from k to a, so if e to the negative lambda a minus e to uh, the negative lambda k. Now, the one thing that uh, we need to notice here is that the uh, exponential function is defined by uh, this formula for uh, x greater than 0, or greater than or equal to 0. If um, x is less than 0, uh, then f of x is just equal to 0. So what this means is all along, all along here we've been kind of taking values uh, as k goes towards negative infinity. If we're evaluating this integral, the integral is just the constant function at 0. So we don't really need to consider anything 
less than zero. So we can actually just look at the limit as k approaches um, zero. Is if we start taking values past zero or past k, excuse me, past, if we start taking values of k past zero, then we're just going to be adding zero uh, to what we already have here. Uh, so this is now the limit as k approaches zero of um, e to the negative lambda a minus e to the negative lambda k. And this is, has no k term in it, so it's just equal to e to the negative lambda a, uh, or minus, and we have two minuses here, so they cancel. We have plus uh, e to the negative lambda, and now we can just substitute k equals zero, we get one. So we see that cumulative distribution function can be written as one minus e to the lambda a.